Gaffer, it's been a wee while since we last spoke to you. Um, we've started pre-season this week. Um, how's that gone so far? Well, really well, yeah. I mean, um, I think the days, I, f I feel like I say this every pre-season, but the days of people coming back, you know, way overweight with their body fats up are kind of long gone. Um, that happened in my day. I was actually one of them, to be honest. But um, no, everybody's come back in decent shape. It's just about, um, I think it was important they had four or five weeks and actually although they kept themselves in shape, that they rested quite a lot and, and um, had quite a lot of downtime because we'd quite a, a, we've had quite a heavy schedule the last couple of years and um, coming in and the, those 10 games we had in 39, 40 days, which was quite a lot. So, But they've, they've come back in really good shape. Uh, it's just a matter of getting them, you know, building on that and getting them match fit and that's why we've taken so many pre-season games. We've had a few new signings and obviously and since we last spoke, Stephen Lawless has signed for the club. Um, why did you bring him here? Well, I just think, um, you know, we're looking to bring another wide player as well, one with real pace, a bit like Tiff, and I just like the balance of that. We've been looking for somebody on that to play on the right-hand side that can maybe narrow the pitch in and allow a full-back up outside. Um, and I thought in the first half against us at East End Park, he, he basically destroyed us. He, you know, we didn't we, we made a lot of mistakes that night, but um, I think he's... I think this should be his prime. I mean, he's, people talk about he's been around for, he's only 31 and um, he's never been reliant on pace. He's more skill, guile, picking a pass and, you know, I can see him coming in on his left foot and finding Tiffany on the other side and, and building it from there. So, and also, you know, he showed a real, you know, he could have made more money elsewhere. He made a real, you know, he showed a real desire to come back here. So we were delighted to have him. Yeah, and you mentioned looking at another wide player. Um, you still working on other incomings in other positions as well? Yeah, well, I mean, I think we've got, I think we've got two midfielders almost uh, tied up. Um, might not be here for a week or two. We'll see. I think we're close to getting a goalie, uh, and if we get that done, uh, then I think we're, we're short of a striker, a centre back, or defender, uh, and another wide player. Um, we've got obviously we've got Cami that can play around there, and we've got Lawless, and we've got Tiffany, maybe another one. Yeah, and the games are coming very quickly. Talk us through that friendly schedule overall. Well, I mean, the, the biggest thing for me, I, I, you know, I don't treat the League Cup games as friendlies. We, we want to qualify for the last 16. It's obviously a trophy that means an awful lot to our club. Um, but, I mean, one of the biggest things, the amount of games was for Darren Brownlee. We, 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 I feel, we feel that um, he's one of the best centre-backs in the Championship and he didn't play all last season, so it's a matter of he's now doing all the training, but the last thing that will come for dads is, is match fitness and, and, and that's why. So he'll be one of the players along with the rest and he'll play half a game, then he'll go again at Kelty, then there's, I think we're playing Clyde, then we're playing Rangers. So we hope to have him up, certainly with the first league game of the season, get him ready because it'll be like having a new player. And in League One, when we won the championship, he was really, really key to the whole thing. And one of the big things this summer was the pitch as well, getting relayed. Mm -hmm. He's pleased to see that growing so well. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, it's just really growing. I think Alan's talking about cutting it next week, which is bizarre because 10 days ago it was, it was just it was brown. So, yeah, yeah, we're looking forward to that. I mean, I think, I mean, enough's been said about the pitch, you know, it's, it's a bit boring now, but, it, you know, we do owe that, I think, myself and the players owe the supporters. I mean, even the games that, that seemed quite exciting, um, when we won one nil near the end, I, I don't think they were for the purists. I certainly didn't really enjoy them that much. So uh, I'm not saying every game's going to be entertaining, um, but we, we will try and play a type of football that will entertain the supporters, which I think will do them. I, I don't think they, we can quibble at the first half of the season. I think we, we played a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I mentioned the supporters' season tickets now on sale. We've already sold a, a bunch already. But how important is the, the sort of season ticket process to what you? Well, do? same as last year, because it's huge. Um, I'd like to think uh, we can match what we did, even if we sell one more. It'd be a terrific achievement because you know the nature of the world's changed a little bit. So it'd be a hell of an effort from everybody. But you know, I've been told they're going really well, and it does come to me, not into my pocket. I mean, I'd put it comes to me to try and improve the squad. Um, you know, if the three players I get that we think are close, we still need three to have 19 and two with our, with the kids. So, yeah, it's, it's 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 vital for the club, absolutely vital. And you know, it was a magnificent effort last year by the supporters. And you know, and listen, out with the last quarter of the season, we had a really really good season, and th there were reasons for the last quarter. But ultimately, we want to do as well. We we weren't far away last year. We nine games to go. We we're five points off the top league. We we're game in hand. So we weren't that far off. Um, I think the additions looking at training will improve us 
uh, I'm particularly enthused about the full back area. Um, and you know, the, the reason we were able to get, for example, Harry Milne quite early was the level of season tickets we sold last year. So, you know, and that's got to be reciprocal, that's got to be, you know, done again, and that's why we were able to go and get them. Thanks for Cheers, guys. <laughs>